All right, so here is my um, x-axis for a new CNC machine I'm building. And um, I just got the roller slide finished. This is based on a uni strut, as you can tell. And I'm using aluminum castings. And I'm using uh, the standard ABEC roller blade bearings. All right, we've got the Z-axis uh, slide done. That was a big casting. Uses roller slides, just like the just like the other axes. Rolls very smoothly. It's pretty heavy though, I may have to counterweight it. And do a little walk around. That's the x-axis. And this is the y-axis. Just got a a pulley system to keep everything square and bicycle chain yep Right, so here we're testing the CNC machine with some real fine lettering. And uh, I, n I never intended it to be accurate enough to do this kind of lettering. 
but still I had the G code file and uh, you know you just have to try it so it's actually coming out pretty good I think that's uh, 10 point well no the big letters are probably more like 14 point it's doing amazingly well <laughs> There's the blinking lights. So it's really fun to watch these things run. And it knows where to go, huh? Sure. Looks like it's all confused, but hey, it knows where it wants to put the tip of that pen. So this thing has a, a three foot by four foot total workspace. I'm running into the wall trying to get it into my viewport. So fun, fun. Thing. The reason that that's so um, notchy is because the tip of the pen has lots of, it's got lots of flex. So the, the fibers of the paper are kind of pushing it around. So if that were stiffer, uh, I think we'd see it quite a bit more accuracy there. So the machine itself is, um, pardon me, very accurate. All I got to do is now is put a dust shoe on it.
right, so it's uh, completed the cut in three passes and went pretty deep. I think 10 millimeters deep is what I had designed that. And one thing that I'm really excited about um, you can't really see that it did it in three passes like you can't really see layering like it went and cut a different path on each pass oh maybe there you can maybe there's one spot otherwise it did really good about following the same path that it took on the first pass first two passes really so yeah I'm real happy about that that seems like a success seems like very much of a success and my optical encoder wheels performed really well there's, that's the one on the z-axis and that's the x-axis and the y-axis is down underneath this cover yeah that thing right there and that's the y-axis motor